Hello everybody, this is Kian the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. Home Assistant contains information about all your devices and services. This information can be used to trigger automations. This is the fun part. Automations in Home Assistant allow you to automatically respond to things that happen. For instance, a light can be turned on at sunset, then turn off at sunrise. Or if it's dark, by detecting movement, a light can be turned on. I have dedicated this video to creating automations in Home Assistant. Before continuing the video, please click the subscribe button as it motivates me to upload more videos. Stay tuned. In order to create automations in Home Assistant, after navigating to Home Assistant on the left panel, click on Settings. Select Automations and Scenes. Then at the bottom of the page on the right, click on Create Automation. You can either use a blueprint or start with an empty automation. Blueprint automations are ready-made automations by the community. After importing blueprints, you only need to configure them. In order to import blueprints in your home assistant, navigate to this web page. Find your desired or interesting blueprint, like window open, climate open. Open it. In its page, you have description and you should find import blueprint. In order to import the blueprint to your home assistant, click on it. It tries to open your home assistant. If the URL of your home assistant is correct, click open link. If not, click on edit. Edit the URL of your home assistant, then click on update. After that, click open link. Select preview blueprint. Then click on import blueprint. Blueprint is imported to your home assistant. In home assistant in settings and then automation and scenes page, by clicking on create automation, from the drop down list of blueprint, you can find your imported blueprint. By selecting it, you can configure it. As I said, for creating automations, you can either select a blueprint or start with an empty automation. Create a new automation from scratch. I select the second item. Let's talk about how to create automations briefly. In this part, you should set a name for your automation. You can also add a description for your automation by clicking on Add Description. We have different modes for automation. The mod controls what happens when the automation is triggered, while the actions are still running from a previous trigger. Single, which is default. Do not start a new run, issue a warning. Restart means start a new run after first stopping previous run. Queued means start a new run after all previous runs complete. Runs are guaranteed to execute in the order they were queued. Parallel means start a new independent run in parallel with previous runs. The first part is the trigger of the automation rule. Triggers describe event that should trigger the automation rule. It is also possible to specify multiple triggers for one automation by clicking on add trigger. The second part is the condition. Conditions are optional tests. 
that can limit an automation rule to only work in your specific use cases. A condition will test against the current state of the system. This includes the current time, devices, people, and other things like the sum. By clicking on add condition, you can add conditions. Condition type can be and, device, not, numeric state, or state, sum, template, time, triggered by, and zone. The difference between a condition and a trigger can be confusing as they are very similar. Triggers look at the actions while conditions look at the results, turning a light on versus a light being on. We'll come to it in a few seconds. Automation rules interact directly with the internal state of Home Assistant, so you will need to familiarize yourself with it. Home Assistant exposes its current state via the developer tools. Click on developer tools on the left panel in Home Assistant. We have states. States will show all currently available states. In this page, we have entities, state, and attributes. I have a motion sensor in my Home Assistant. This is it. Binary sensor, motion sensor. You see its state is off. By detecting movement, it becomes on. A state changes can be used as the source of triggers and the current state can be used in conditions. Let's go back to automations. We talked about triggers, conditions. The third part is the actions, which will be performed when a rule is triggered and all conditions are met. For example, it can turn a light on, set the temperature on your thermostat, or activate a scene. Actions are all about calling services. To explore the available services, open the developer tools by clicking on developer tools on the left panel. Select services. Services allow changing anything. For example, turn on a light, run a script or enable a scene. By selecting services from the drop-down list of the service, you have access to all services. Each service has a domain and a name. For example, the service light.turn on. Let me find it. Light.turn on. It's capable of turning on any light in your system. Services can be passed parameters too. For example, tell which device to turn on or what color to use. I have ESP development board, ESP32, programmed with ESP Home. I have added a motion sensor to it, a light sensor, ambient light sensor, and three LED. I named one of the LEDs ceiling light. The green LED is alarm and the red LED is siren. Let's start creating automations. I click on settings in Home Assistant, select automations and scenes. As you see, I have three scenes. I can disable them and easily enable them. Or I can edit them. Also, you can delete automations. I click on create automation, select start with an empty automation. Set a name for my automation. For example, first automation. 
the mod I select parallel triggers I want the ceiling light to be turned on if movement is detected so from the drop down list of trigger device I select device I select the drop down list of device find my ESP32 development board from the drop down list of trigger I select motion sensor started detecting motion you can define a duration time for it also you can add other triggers by clicking on add trigger conditions I click on add conditions to add my conditions I want the light to be turned on if motion is detected while light is below a specific number or the sun is set so I use or condition type I select the drop down list select or in or condition type in condition type drop down list I select sun after sunset before sunrise I activate both of them because I want to have the condition in true between sunset and sunrise we can specify offset for both sunset and sunrise for example after sunset five minutes after sunset Our condition is OR, which means one of the conditions must be true. I want to turn on a light if motion is detected while either sun is set or light is blue a specific number. So I define the sun set. I click on add condition in the OR section. Pay attention that we have two add condition items one of them is in the or section see I click it this time I select the condition type as a device from the drop-down list I select my ESP development board condition I select my light sensor below 40 actions the action is device I want to turn on a light the ceiling light action type is device select device turn on ceiling light you can add more actions I click on add action this time I add a delay from the drop down list wait for time to pass delay I select it to make the video short I define 10 seconds then I click on add action again to turn off the device select the device select the ceiling light select the ceiling light turn off ceiling light then click save first automation is created it hasn't been tricked you can run the action by clicking on run actions the ceiling light is turned on after 10 seconds it must be turned off okay 
Let's navigate to overview page. The light sensor detects brightness less than 40. Movement is detected. Ceiling light is turned on. After 10 seconds, the light is off. I increase the light brightness. The ambient light sensor shows the brightness is 48. Movement is detected, but light or let's say ceiling light didn't turn on. Just create a new automation using and I click on create automation click on start with an empty automation set a name for automation second automation select the mode triggers I want the motion sensor to be trigger of the automation so it is device I select my motion sensor I started detecting motion in conditions I click on add condition this time I want to use and from the condition type drop down list I select and Condition type, let's select device, the light sensor below 30. We have two add conditions. The first add condition is related to the AND part. In AND condition, all items must be true in order the condition to be true. I select add condition in AND part condition type this time I select a state I have defined a switch named darkness select it this is the darkness when it is on you can find the states in developer tools states part okay actions I select the device select ESP development board turn on ceiling light add the delay action five seconds then turn off the ceiling light the second automation is added to the list of automations let's disable first automation and test the second automation in home assistant by navigating to ESP development board the darkness is off The light is 28 lux. Movement is detected. Ceiling light remains off. I turn on darkness. Decrease the light. Movement is detected, ceiling light is turned on, after 5 seconds it is off. I increase the light. Movement is detected, ceiling light remains off. 
that was and condition I have already created an automation named it new automation 2 click on edit in front of it to see what I have defined the trigger is motion sensor detecting motion condition is the alarm by creating this condition I have created an alarm system so when alarm is on which means condition look at the result when motion is detected by motion sensor or movement is detected the siren is set to on also the ceiling light is set to on let's test it I turn on alarm alarm is on as soon as motion is detected siren and ceiling light both are set to on this was creating automations in a simple manner thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already you can support me by buying me coffee i'll see you in the next video